So day 12. Um, and day 12 was meant to be a bit of a longer day actually, uh, trying to get around the uh, the bottom of a peninsula and to start tracking inland towards Reykjavik um, before the final couple of days home. Um, so we got up pretty early, uh, had a fairly good, fairly good kick off and steeled ourselves for a, the rigours ahead. Um, got to our first tea shop and we met a, a couple of English cycle tourists going the other way and uh, I have to say that he had possibly the most enormous set of muscles on his legs I've ever seen any guy have and um, we were much more fascinated by his legs than hers which is probably quite unusual for us as you, as you can probably imagine. Um, but the road was pretty flat, um, we had a, seemed to have a slight breeze behind us so we were we made good time all the way. Um, Steve and Duncan found probably the best bit of treasure by the side of the road that it's possible to find when you're cycle touring um, and that was an abandoned camper van uh, and even had the gas still wired up so we could have could have cooked up inside it um, so uh, who knows what the, the owners were doing but yeah look cut a pretty sad figure by the side of the road um, we just think they decided not to try and steal it if only because a large orange camper van in Iceland is probably probably quite easy to find if you put your mind to it so uh, yeah, so we rolled the rest of the way. Um, fairly easy, uh, fairly easy 80 something clicks. Um, and I can honestly say that I think we've got the tourist thing pretty, pretty well cracked now. Um, so we rolled into town and we, we were flipping a coin about whether to, to go on another 15k after stocking up with food or, or to stay here in the, uh, the twin attractions of uh, a big swimming pool with some slides and uh, a restaurant serving curry. Um, I'm persuaded us to put the tent up and put the tent up and stay. So. After a little snooze in the sun, we had a little bit of an unplanned activity. Um, we rolled into town, went to the swimming baths, um, very good fun. Lots of sliding, uh, messing around, basketball in the swimming pool. And uh, I think the locals were, were reasonably amused at our general delight at just pools of hot water and, uh, and slides to go down. Uh, and I did note there was a, a fairly serious swimming pool off to the right where people were, were training and some coach was trying to explain to these kids that perhaps um, the English fools messing around, that probably isn't the way to win any medals at any Olympics and <laughs> they should just get their head down and tra train a bit harder. Um, but yeah, once we'd, uh, once we'd exhausted the possibilities of the, the swimming pool and steam room, um, we went on to a little uh, Filipino restaurant which was, seemed to be very popular. Um, had a good round, of, uh, good round of curries and beers to, to celebrate our progress so far. Um, yeah, very pleasant evening, strolled back and got our heads down. And uh, yeah, all in all, uh, yeah, a fairly cruisy day. So hopefully, I'll uh, 